Welcome to Digits, I'm Simon Constable. Yahoo has released a memo. It says you've got to come to work. Here are some extracts from it. Let me read them. Beginning in June, we're asking all employees with work from home arrangements to work in Yahoo offices. And it also, it also says being a Yahoo isn't just about your day-to-day -day job. It's about interactions and experiences that are only possible in our offices. To tell us more about this, we've, we've got Rachel M. Silverman, who's joining us from Texas. Uh, Rachel, this has got to be a blow for some people at Yahoo. Yeah, so this is a big deal for at-home workers, and I count myself among those minions. I've actually been a, an at-home worker for the past eight years. So this, this announcement was very near and dear to my heart um, as a telecommuter. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure some people are going to be upset about this. Starts in June, apparently. Um, what have the reaction of the employees been so far? So I, I, I'm going to put a caveat that I don't cover Yahoo, but I can tell you what the reaction has been generally, um, you know, in the in the in the web sphere, which includes some Yahoo employees. Um, so many um, at home workers, as you can understand, are are really upset by this because um, you know for for many of those workers, flexibility was a really big deal. But um, I, I do think that this uh, announcement actually really underscores something that's that's not talked about a lot among companies that um, do have telecommuters, and that is that it's really, really challenging to manage telecommuters. And I know this because I, I am one. Um, and so I actually think what, what Yahoo did um, you know, is was sort of a, a brave move. Um, no. Rachel, what if you are hired with a flexible work arrangement? Do you feel that people are going to think that's a violation of some sort? Yes, um, definitely. You know, if that's if that's your understanding um, when when you sign on to work there, it, it is a violation. But the fact is, an employer has a right to make that uh, to make that call. Um, you know, just like in, in a layoff. You know, when you when you sign up to work for a company, you expect that you're going to be able to work. And if you get laid off, that, that's also that's also you know, a violation as well. So, um, you know, while I personally would be very upset, um, I, I do understand why Yahoo made, made this move. Now, y Yahoo, it wasn't that long ago when they were having problems retaining people. Is this going to sort of take us back to, to that? Or is this a sign that Melissa Meyer is pretty um, confident in keeping people? So that really, really remains to be seen. I mean, certain cohorts of the population who really do value flexibility, um, and that includes parents and also um, some younger workers who just really value, you know, being able to to have um, lives outside of work. Um, you know, it, it could be seen as as problematic, but um, you know, pe there people want work, <laughs> and uh, so it'll be interesting to see how that affects. And we, and we will be looking at that here on Digits. Thank you very much, uh, Rachel Emma Silverman of The Wall Street Journal. We appreciate your time. Read more on that on WSJ.com. I'm Simon Constable.